Olá! Welcome to episode 43 of Paul Plays in Portugal. It's the penultimate episode of the series. We're playing our final two league games, aiming to win the league ahead of Porto. We've got Braga and Aruca, both away from home. And then episode 44 will be the last episode of this series when we take on Porto in the Taça de Portugal final. Another final against Porto. Hopefully we can get the better of them in two episodes in a row because of course today we have the opportunity to finish ahead of them in the league before we take them on in the cup final. It's been a magnificent fourth season of Porto Minutes. I've really enjoyed this series. I've enjoyed managing a team and just having, I guess it's just a generic let's play series which isn't my usual style. I usually try something a little bit quirky. School one, still one, Regen Rovers for example, uh, recent series that I have done and this has just been a normal let's play series but in a country that I'm not used to and the next series is also going to be in a nation that I have managed in previously back on Football Manager 2005 and actually a club that I managed on FM05 but it's not England uh, it's actually going to be in Scotland might as well break that news to you now uh, if all goes to plan that's going to be the series anyway but yeah I'm going to be managing a Scottish team top flight team so you've got a 1 in 12 chance I think there's still 12 teams in Scotland in the top flight isn't there unless things have changed since I last looked but hopefully, hopefully you're looking forward to that I'm also as I've mentioned previously I'm starting to think about another emulating series just need to fine tune the details surrounding that I think still 50-50 as to whether I will do that or not but maybe I'm swinging more to 60-40 in favour of it at the moment. Anyway, let's get on with today's episode. We're going to take on Braga away from home first of all and then go to Aruka's place. I've just realised I haven't continued to the Braga match. We've, we're still at the end of the Arsenal match so bear with me a few seconds. I've actually just continued a couple days to the Porto versus Nacional match. Now we could actually be league champions at the end of this match if Porto lose. So let's continue and see if they can get a win and, and take it to the last day of the season. They have, as expected, 2-0 win, as you can see there, which means they're one point behind us as we go into this match against Braga. Really big match against a team that have been pretty good on this save. They're sixth. It's kind of where they're expected to finish, although they... No, actually, they're expected to finish fifth ahead of Belenenses, but they're two points behind at the moment um, as it stands. So this is the team to take on Braga if we win this match. We are champions because we'll move four points ahead of Porto, ahead of the last day of the season. I'm going with the strongest lineup I possibly can put out. Of course, Lamas is still injured. Rui Costa's just picked up a knock, unfortunately, so he's not going to make the bench. Nani is on the bench. He's not really featured very much at all this season. He's had a very poor season when he has played. David Silva's back into the team. I'll play him in his preferred advanced playmaker role. But I'm ready for this. Are you ready for this? I am. Pretty sure Braga have played this formation against me before. They're a strong team, but if we win today, we are champions. So that's what I'm aiming for. It's not going to be easy. We have struggled a little bit against Braga in the past. I'm actually going to go to a normal mentality for that reason from the start because we're playing away from home. We have struggled a little bit away from home lately. Thank you, Obrigado, for the support on this series. It has been fantastic. Uh, I admit it's not been as good as previous series of mine, but those of you that have watched have been been great. You've been really great in, in supporting the series and watching the videos and in hopefully enjoying it. I've really loved it. This series was all about me having fun, managing a team in Portugal that, that I've not done before and just enjoying myself. And I really have enjoyed it. We've, it's helped by the fact I've done quite well with Porto Minutes. We've had some quality players, some great stories as well. Lopez sensational player for us Stanley what a story you know he's not really expected to score goals at this level but he, he's continued to do so and perform really well and this has probably been his best season yet strangely enough um, so yeah I thoroughly enjoyed it but I, I did feel like this was the, the time to end it I know there's a few guys a bit sad about me ending the series now but it was the right time it's I need to do something new and fresh on this channel don't want it to go stale as Wellington almost opens the scoring 
Regen Rovers is going to be back for FM19. I, I've said it on Twitter. I've put it in the YouTube community section of my channel. You know, I've mentioned it before, but it will be back on FM19. I just need to decide the logistics. I want to prepare over the summer and make sure it's the best series yet. My old Regen Rovers series is certainly the best series I've ever made on this channel. And I want the next one to be even better. And basically learn from what I did previously and make it better. And and go the distance. Like we, we pretty much did go the distance. We got to the Premier League, of course, with Regen Rovers. Some of you won't even know what I'm talking about. I'm just blabbering here about a series you may not have watched. Please go and check it out if you haven't done so. But yeah, I'm very proud of that series. And I, I think I can do it even better the second time round with a few different changes. Boring first half, there's not really been anything. I'm going to continue going standard for now and then maybe go attacking towards the end of the match. Get that winning goal and win as the league. Who can be the hero this season? It might not be in this game, might have to be in the next game. Here's Wellington. No, smashed it into someone's head and losing possession, which and it's then lobbed over the top for Adelaide, the ex Arsenal winger coming in field. That's a great run, but a terrible pass, which Nakajima pounces on. Here he goes, he's found Lopez, Franco Lopez takes it out wide, and what was that, Franco? Was that meant to be a shot or a cross? I think it was in between, In the that's how it ended up being, and the keeper managed to grab it. And now Braga building from the back, Keeping possession, playing it nicely into the path of Pinto, takes it. Ah, oh, that was too easy. Far too easy. 1 0 to Braga. Maybe it is going down to that Aruka match on the last day of the season. We're going to have to go attacking, that's for sure. I don't think David, I just I don't think David Silver is good enough for this team now. <laughs> He's not played particularly badly, but hmm. we're going to go two up front, in fact. I'm going to throw Stanley up there. He can be the hero. Stanley on for David Silver. We continue to play direct football, and what I will do is we're going to go. In fact, I'm not really going to change anything. Uh, we will exploit the flanks, though. Actually, so I am changing something. I tell a lie. Stanley and Lopez up front together. Can they turn this game on its head in this second half and win us the league? Two goals, and if they don't score, then we are champions. But it's a long way to go. Half an hour to go. We're still one nil down, and Braga are on the attack again. It's not looking good for us today, is it? Headed away there by Ivanic. She finds Stanley. Who's, he needed to get rid of the ball quick, quicker there. Just dawdled. And it's given Braga a chance to come forwards again. Here comes Pele. And another opportunity. It's all over the bar. Come on, lads, please. This is to win the league. And you're not doing anything today. 15 minutes to go. Fernando Silva finds Ivanic. It's going down to the wire. I didn't want it to go down to the wire, but it is. I kind of, kind of had to, didn't it? We needed a dramatic ending, I suppose. Vinicius easily beaten. This is going to be two. It is. It's all over. Am I going to bottle it right at the end of this series? I can't bottle it. That'd be awful. 20 games unbeaten, by the way. We're about to, that run's about to be broken. League run, obviously. Georgian can't even find Stanley. We have bloody throwing. Let's not get frustrated, Paul. <laughs> We've still it's still in our hands. We if we beat Aruka, we're champions. Here's Posignolo lumping it up top. No, not good enough. Stanley was never going to get anywhere near that. And here they come again. Looking to thrash us today. It's not been good. We've, we've had a little bit of a poor record against Braga recently. I feel. Maybe I might be wrong. I feel like we've lost a couple games. Somehow we don't concede there. But this is just not working. Has my tactic decided to fail me right at the end of this series? I hope not. Oh, Georgian's on a yellow. I don't have my right back on the bench. Wellington's dreadful today. I'm going to throw on Bruno to batter few minutes to save this game Stanley it's not been our day not been our day at all maybe I should have left it on standard lots of ifs hindsight is a wonderful thing <laughs> here they come looking for a third ah uh, oh three <laughs> they hit the post twice really unlike. they should they should they deserve this they've had 21 shots to our six 36% possession for us as well. We've been terrible. 
truly terrible. They've just dominated this. They're, they're ta oh, it's three. It is three. They're, they're tactically just outclassed me. And this is one of the worst defeats. For a, well, it's the worst defeat for a long time. We did lose 4-0 to Arsenal, of course, but that's kind of to be expected. Uh, but yeah, this is... Uh, there's not been much worse than this. Ivanich fires that wide, and that's going to be the final whistle. This is it then, last day of the season, our last ever league game of this series, away from home against Aruka. We have to win, well we don't have to, Porto could slip up, but if we win, we are champions quite simply. Good to see Lopez top goal scorer going into the last day of the season as well, top average rating, Wellington top of the assists, at level with Pereira, despite being injured for quite a long time. But Lopez, it's all about him. He's had a magnificent season for us. Let's hope he can end it on a high by scoring against Aruka. I've had one in force change with Fernando coming in for the injured Georgian out for three to six weeks. Two to four. It's changed already. Um, but yeah, Fernando has to come in at right back. And Bruno Tabata is going to play behind Lopez as the attacking midfielder. I'm going to try that out. Let's hope it works. Please. Please, Miles Jacobson, let us win this. Who will be the hero today then? Will it be Lopez? Will it be Bruno Tabata, our super sub, who's not a super sub today? Maybe Stanley coming off the bench? Or will this chap, Rodrigo, spoil our party? I wanted this to be a special day. <laughs> Winning the league for a second season in a row, but are we gonna stumble right at the end? Wow, Lopez is full of confidence. I think I just have to go for it from the start. We have to be beating a team like Aruka. No disrespect to them. Look at the morale. It's dreadful. So let's just attack them. Let's get Wellington and Nakajima in play. Let's exploit the flanks. Be more expressive. Oh, let's get on with this then. As you can see, I've got league table in the top left-hand corner. Porto currently one point ahead of us. They should be winning their game against Vittorio de Setebol. You never know. They might do us a favour. But we should be beating Aruka. Whatever, you know, regardless of the Porto result, we need to be beating Aruka here. Porto are winning. They're above us in the table as it stands. Here comes Fernando, though. I'm right back, throwing it into the path of Wellington, who finds Bruno Tabata. Comes in field. Ivanic, great ball to Fernando. We need a good cross from him. It is. Lopez miscontrolled it, really, there. That's a little bit disappointing. Vinicius comes to it. Are we going to see... Another opportunity. Fernando finds Ivanic. Ivanic. Bruno Tabata. Nakajima. 1-0. We go top of the table. One point ahead of Porto once again. Ooh, great goal. Lovely goal. Lovely finish from Nakajima. Vinicius recycling possession. Found Fernando. Put it into the path of Ivanic. Who then passed it to Bruno Tabata. Who got the assist. And it's a lovely little finish from our Japanese maestro. Can we make it two straight away and just steady my nerves a bit? Ivanich, Wellington down the right-hand side. This is nice play from us. Nakajima, chance for a second, heads it straight into the goalkeeper's hands. He might regret that. I might regret that. We might all regret that. Half an hour in, still 1-0. Still attacking. And we've won a throw-in in a dangerous position. Fernando just throws it away. Bruno Tabata just, he just stood still. I don't like it when they stand still, run towards the ball. But Fernando Silva intercepts that nicely. Lopez has to score. You have to score here, and he does. 2-0. One-on-ones, they're so temperamental on FM18. So you just, you can't guarantee that's going to be a goal when that 99% of the time would be a goal because the goalkeeper didn't even come for it, really. This is a brilliant interception from Fernando Silva. It's, a, it's an interception, but a long pass through ball thing. The goalkeeper didn't know what he was doing. It, he went to pick it up. It, the goalkeeping is hilarious sometimes. That is steady by nerves. There's Porto go 2 0 up as well, but it doesn't matter because we're winning 2 0. Let's get a third here. Kill it off before half time. Here's Marcel. The Brazilian steadies himself. Doesn't really know what to do. He's found Fernando Silva out wide. The left back comes forward, finds. Doesn't find Nakajima. That's not great, but he should pick this one up. Hurry up. Get on it. Knock it up the pitch. Vinicius. We've got a lot of Brazilians. This team has been made up of brilliant Brazilians throughout the series. But uh, Aruka now controlling possession. I don't want them to get a goal back and make it nervous for me. Look at them. Playing it around. Confident stuff. Marcel. 
he's so big. I forget how tall he is. Fernando Silva, Ivanic. Let's make it three, guys. Nakajima, Lopez, Wellington. Wellington makes it three. Surely we are champions of Portugal again. We can't throw this away. Surely not. Surely. This is a com the complete opposite of the Braga game. Aruka were on their feet. That Rodrigo, their striker, has picked up an injury. We're going to win the league for a second time. What a way to end this series. They've not had a single shot. Let's just keep going. Uh, I, do we go? Do I go to standard now? Yeah, we'll go standard. No need to just keep attacking. Well then, we've got the chance of winning the Portuguese double. We missed out on the Europa League. We, we, get, we gave it our all, didn't we? But Arsenal were for a bit too much for us. But it's been another magnificent league campaign. Half an hour to go. We should be over the line now. That's headed away. Bruno Tabata from deep finds Nakajima. Bruno Tabata, I think we're going to have to play him in the cup final. Ivanich finds Wellington to make it four. Wellington caught by the keeper. That was a typical Wellington finish, that one. I'm going to take off Wellington, actually, just to save his legs. And Nakajima as well. We're going to throw on Nani for a rare appearance. Here goes Stanley. Long ball over the top, looking for Lopez. I kind of want Lopez to get a goal just to give him a bit of a boost going into the final. He did score against Arsenal, to be fair. So it's not like he's on a goal drought or anything. But he did miss out against Braga. Aruka building from the back here. Yeah, they're going to try and make it nervous for me for the last 20 or so minutes. Here they come. Maybe I shouldn't have brought Nanny on. <laughs> going to doubt myself now, aren't I? Especially if they score. Here's Biko into the sub. And that's a dreadful finish. Ivanic is going to come off for Pedro Sar for the last few minutes. We need Ivanic fit and fighting for the final. Oh no, Bruno Tabat has picked up a knock just as I make my last sub. He might not be able to play in that final after all. Potential foot injury. But we are the champions of Portugal for a second time in a row. What a marvellous achievement. We made it difficult for ourselves by losing against Braga. But this was a comfortable 3-0 win. Fernando Silva, man of the match with that assist, that interception assist in one swift move it was quite brilliant and the players are looking confident and delighted heading into the last episode of the series where we're going to take on Porto looking for a revenge against us of course for finishing one point behind us in the league it really has been magnificent Tondela and Lejois relegated by the way Braga do manage to finish fifth Benfica managed to finish third ahead of Sporting this season as well. It's their best season yet. Lopez is top goal scorer. In fact, Lopez scored in the last game. I was saying Lopez needed to score a goal, but he had already scored a goal. I have no idea what I was talking about there. He finishes one ahead of the Porto guy. He's got the highest average rating. Wellington does finish second on assists. But really, quite magnificent stuff from the entire squad. So I hope you're looking forward to the next episode the last episode in fact we've done the double according to the game because we won the whatever that competition is at the start of the season Bruno Tabat is out for one to three days so he should be back in time for the cup final make sure you watch the last episode of this series because it's against Porto it's a big one, and you got to say goodbye to the lads what a what a brilliant team this is anyway until next time Enjoy FM18. Go out and celebrate another league title. See you very soon.